There you see Otto Sitterly's car getting fueled up here as Speed Sport brings you the Jim Champagne Memorial from Oswego Speedway here on MAV TV. Jessica Zemkin started on the pole, led the first eight laps. Gruel led 58. They've only had three leaders. Otto Sitterly up front now. He's going to have four to go when we go back to green. Here's Derek. Ralph, we're under red flag right now in the Jim Champagne Memorial, and you can look at the tires and see how they're wearing. Now, when I put my fingers on the tires, they're really hot. They're really sticky right now. You can see they're really hot. But if you notice right here, this line of rubber is not as shiny as the rest of it. That means the race car is using this much of the tire as it goes through the corner. What do you think of that tire wear, Johnny? Well, I mean, it's not looking horrible, but it does definitely show some wear. And of course, when you go under caution, you start to pick up a lot of, lot of stuff that don't have to get cleaned off, but tire wear is always an issue. Sitterly right where he wants to be as he goes for his sixth victory in this prestigious super modified event at the Steel Palace. You see the guys just swerving the cars around, trying to get all that extra rubber off there. So, man, this is it's time to go now. Light flag, we're gonna be starting in one lap. 23 cars started the event tonight. Some definite attrition, as you can see, we've thinned the field out. Sitterly has been the class of it as he's worked his way meticulously through the field, played it right, and has put himself in a tremendous position if he can hold off Dave Gruel to the checkers here. Yeah, he's been real patient, real, real smooth with the car and all that, and that's definitely making a huge difference here at the end. And how about his teammate Schulich right there in the blue six who started dead last on the field, and Dave's in third as we go back to green. Sitterly already starting to open up a gap on Gruel. Yeah, Sitterly's car right now is, is definitely looks like the class of the field. He, he was managed his tires well, and he's going through there. You can see him really starting to slide around there as yeah, certainly was trying to pass him. So he, he's worn his tires a little bit more. All that power out of Otto Sitterly's car still getting to the ground. The thing looks solid. He powers down the back straight away. Yes, teammate DJ, like I say, he's not too far, not too far behind. And, uh, uh, Graham there is actually spun out earlier and is caught up also, so he's doing a good job there too. Graham running in fourth. Yeah, he's just, he's just pulling away. He's got a pretty good hot run. Final remaining laps, the white flag is out. Otto Sitterly, six times. He's been a track champion here at the Steel Palace. And after one more lap, he'll be a six-time winner of the Jimmy Champagne Memorial. Here he comes, off the final corner, checkered flag for Otto Sitterly. Gruel, who led 58 laps, will have to settle for second place. And how about Schulich coming from dead last on the field? Dave will finish in third up on the podium here tonight. Well, Otto Sitterly is going to coast into victory lane. And when Speed Sport returns, we'll meet Otto Sitterly. Stay with us. Experience an event unlike any other. Budweiser Classic Week at Oswego Speedway. Friday, August 29th. It's Fast 14 Super Modified Time Trials. With the return of the Race of Champions Modified 100. Saturday, August 30th. It's the Bud Light SBS Classic. And the Bud Light Isma Super National. Sunday, August 31st. It's the richest Super Modified race in the world. The Budweiser International Classic 200. All at Oswego Speedway, Labor Day weekend. Since 1934, National Speed Sport News has been America's motorsports authority. Every month, Speed Sport Magazine comes alive with stunning photography, insightful commentary, and in-depth features. You will get the full story with Speed Sport Magazine. To start your home delivery of America's motorsports authority, log on to nationalspeedsportnews.com and hit the big yellow subscribe button. Be the fan in the know. Just go to nationalspeedsportnews.com and click subscribe. 